guess I think we're live. Hello, 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 and welcome to something completely different. Um, those of you who are familiar with this, go ahead, get your a little bit, and get excited. For those of you who aren't, uh, you're in for something completely different. Uh, the game is Electronic Superjoy. It's available very cheaply, and honestly, this game would have flown completely under my oops, completely under my radar, except that I had a good friend who mentioned it to me and thought that since I liked Super Meat Boy, there was a chance I would like it, and also that the music was, alone was worth the game. At the time, it only cost two or three dollars on Steam because of some redonkulous sale, and I picked it up. And uh, yeah, I'd say it's a fun enough game that it was worth that. The fact that, I, as you see, it says I spent 51 hours playing this game. Clearly, I've played it a fair amount. Um, it is meant to be an incredibly challenging platformer, but the music is amazing, and the game is overtly sexual in a way, which, well, you'll see. Uh, right, enough yammering. I'm just going to play through. That's all there is to it. So, enjoy. In the Disco Wars of 1515, you lost an eye in the War of Rock and Roll. You lost both legs. Well, that... That sucks. Defeating DD did these skills. And you lost your entire butt to an evil wizard. Yeah, the humor in this game is bizarre. This is the story of your quest. Alright then. To get revenge for your butt. The quest for re butt revenge and begins now. Left, right, move, Z. And there you go. They have taught you how to play the game. Welcome! We've been waiting. Like, forever. Bouncing was fun. We like you. You're oh, groovy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We have something. A gift for you. A weapon. Jump and press X. Smash X, smash X, smash X. Oh, yeah. He's mad again. You should go. Please go. Bye. That's level one. On to level two. Dude, nice day. Here it comes. Oh yeah, join us. Dance. Groovy. If you like electronica, house, techno, etc. Well, the game's called Electronic Super Joy for a reason. Please don't expect a perfect or amazing run or anything. I am far from amazing at this game. I just played it. I just played it for a little while, and that's pretty much all I've done. It's not like I've spent time training or getting really good at it. In fact, that 51 hours almost certainly was a 51 minutes, and I just misread it. There's no way I played this game for 51 hours. Maybe I left it on. Oh, oof, 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 ah! there we go. The music, though, I could definitely listen to for hours on end really good. Damn it. Little short hop. Short hop. Hop! Fuck the frogs! Slow to hit the button. Okay, I guess that. Press R to quick respawn. Oh, that's useful. So there's no obligation for me to keep doing the ground pound like I keep doing, but I find it's helpful to solidly land sometimes because you can precisely predict where you'll end up. Of course, I do. That is just fucked up. Ah, I had this before. Why am I screwing it up now? There we go. Ah! 
There we go. Level. Ooh, these walls are sticky. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> that was not helpful. What the fuck? Strobe effect. Unlike Super Meat Boy, this game constantly throws new gimmicks at you. Uh, to keep the game different and, and to keep the challenge... Instead of just making the levels harder and harder and harder, like Super Meat Boy, this game constantly throws new gimmicks at you as well. Super Meat Boy does throw new gimmicks at you, but not nearly as often. records and such. Um, and I actually have gone back a fair bit to do that. Oh, yeah. Just not late. Just I'm not doing that on this run or anything because I'm more interested in showing you a larger amount of content. Jesus. Oh, that was a painful laser beam. Yeah. Oh no! Missiles! You can smash missiles with X! Jump and smash! Now missiles, in pretty much any game of this kind, are one of the biggest challenges I find because it's very hard to predict exactly where they'll go. I mean, unlike other stable elements of a level like the walls or uh, enemies with fixed movement patterns, missiles react to where you are, where you are, and, and and where you're moving, so they're not as stable. Oh, there we go. There's a wall. Head, knock out. Alright, I gotta be a bit more aggressive. Probably can go underneath all three if I move quickly. Come at me, bro.
But yeah, this is what I mean by a gimmick. The whole level being turned at an angle for no apparent reason. And only for this one level. Then it'll go back to normal. Gosh! Stop being a bitch! There you go. Somewhere there's probably a running total of my death count. It just gets bigger and bigger. Alright, next level. Ooh, low gravity this time. I mean, normally I couldn't make these jumps, but... Okay, the wall is not just locked, it's electrified, apparently. So... Don't touch it at all. Don't waste time! Stop floating around! Stop all those missiles! What missiles? Oh, fuck me, there are a lot of missiles. Oh, those aren't locked walls, those are sticky walls. Totally just cross them. Let's try that again. Yeah, I was waiting for the... to find the key or something. Didn't see it. That's the other thing about the stomp, is it drastically oh. speeds you up if you don't really grab these finish your jumps. Oh, God, I love my new monitor so much. It's like having a new computer, almost. How beautiful it looks. Level. Ooh, this is one of my favorite tracks in the game, actually. So it's a good thing this level looks ridiculously hard, because I'll get to hear it for a while. My usual strategy of just keep running. The oh wait, that's the end of the level. Well, that was trivially easy. I was expecting I was gonna have to hold out like that for a couple minutes. Not sure what killed me there, but it hurt like a bitch! Oh, I see. There's a rotating laser in the pit. I'm gonna have to wait it out. Come at me! Come at me! Off we go. Oh, My jump arc is way off for these otherwise. Oh, yeah. They turn into missiles apparently. So let's clear the missiles on this platform. Is that a rocket in your pocket, or am I just fucked? Oh, that was scary. Okay, what's next? The boob has gone insane. Or been mind controlled. Anyway, he wants to kill you. <laughs> okay then. Guess you'll have to murder him? Oh well. Yes, we're gonna have to kill the space pope. That's, that's the plan here. Howdy. I'm the bull! And I'm gonna fuck you up! <laughs> Bulptastic! And he's in a Pope spaceship. I will chase him down. Oh shit, I remember this level. This level took me so long to figure out the first time I did it. I'm pretty cross right now. 
<laughs> That's hilarious. You gotta be really fast about this. The level scrolls really rapidly. Yeah, falling once, I think I can get away with twice, absolutely not. Try that again. Alright, so landing on the first platform is probably the fastest early jump. You can do a pound there so you can jump up. Build a spaceship! Jump in! That was a simple level. Oh, right. Phase 2 of the Pope Hunt. I'm gonna cross you out! Oh, no you're not. Dick. I play shmups, this is so trivially easy. And, you know, you say that and then you, you die, so, yeah. I'm gonna cross you out. I'm used to having a lot more mobility in my ship, actually. Well, I think I got the Pope anyway. Yep, Space Pope is down. What's next? Out of gas. Oh well. Uh, this level is actually hard. I have a rocket launcher! Hope seeking missiles! I forgot about the. Uh, so I hope you like this track, because we're gonna hear it for quite a while until I beat this level. Stay underneath these hoods when he runs with the laser. Rainbow. Oh! I tried to do it. That was it! I had him! He actually died right there. I just had to not die and then I would have been okay. We'll do that again. If I can get it in one try like that, I can definitely get it again. Rocket launcher! Ah, again. Early rocket, definitely. Follow-up rocket, now clear missiles. Nope. Laser. Hope laser is going to be on the second pass back. So, first rocket. Second. First rocket. Second rocket. Heading right. Avoid the Hope laser. Third rocket. I have to avoid the missiles as well. First rocket. Second rocket. Avoid the Pope laser. Third rocket. Fourth rocket. First rocket. Second rocket. Avoid the Pope laser. Third rocket. Fourth rocket. Come in. Oh, that was a fifth fight mistake. Again. I need to clear his missiles at some point, just to make it easier for me to dodge. I'll try doing it after the third and fourth rocket. Second rocket done! That would've been a good spot if I had aimed it right. Three rockets in, hope laser is passed. That was where I was trying to do the, the ground stomp, so I needed to time that better. Rocket, rocket. Ah, Pope Laser, duck. Rocket. Two. Three. Okay, come on. 
Come on, baby, come on. One rocket. Two rockets. Get third, and then we'll worry about the little missiles. Man, I say I want to worry about the missiles, but I apparently suck at them. There we go, much better. Another one. And another one. Cover. Come on, are you gonna turn that off? How am I gonna get across? There you go. Turned it off. Excellent. Side. Boat missiles. I think we got him. Yo! The papacy is down. Repeat, the papacy is down. Whew! Oh, that's not it? Oh, I'm so mad at you. Bastards. Oh, you have- you actually have to squish him with that too. You killed the Pope! Congratulations! Dips on his hat! Dips on being the next post! Damn it, I don't know that. Anyway, good job. Well. That completes World 1 of, uh, I was about to say Super Meat Boy, of Electronic Super Joy. And, uh, yeah, so this is 47 minutes, 30 seconds. It's my total time for completing this entire world, is what they're saying, because I must have beat some of my old speed records. And as you can see, I did, in fact, attempt, I can't do the mouse on both, but if you look over here, I did, in fact, attempt speed records and got golds for several of these levels. The problem is, if you respawn, they don't restart your timer from when you, you uh, hit the flag they continue counting your time up, so for longer levels that have flags, you need a perfect run in order to really have a shot at good scores or perfect scores or whatever. I've completed World 2 in the past, and I apparently never bothered going on to World 3. Maybe I never beat this guy? I know I've beaten this guy. I guess... You know what? Maybe I beat these levels on a different computer or something. That That's probably on my laptop. So, uh, in the future I may continue doing this, uh, series and just, you know, do World 2 for you guys, uh, depending on the interest and, uh, if I feel like it. But, uh, for now, thank you all for watching, and I will see you guys next time.